I read a lot of stuff that I, I really love. I feel I should read more stuff that I hate. So I'll go into Forbidden Planet next week and be like, get me the worst new comic. The one that nobody wanted and nobody liked. Maybe to like, you know, spice things up. I guess I just have too much love in my heart. And or comics are just too good these days. Hmm. Captain Marvel number 12. And look! A recap page. Right at the beginning. So helpful. Captain Marvel's complaining because her AI Harrison doesn't get her jokes. His response is, joke detection is enabled. Perhaps I am not the problem. <sighs> Captain Marvel um, went for a little like trip on Earth with um, Lila Cheney. Lila Cheney like teleported her back onto her ship and then was like, ah, oh, big gig, gotta go, bye. Then Cap realised that um, her friend Tick and her cat Chewy had been taken it felt actually kind of Firefly, in, in a good way, not in a rabid fan bitching about it because it was cancelled like 10 whole years ago and they just can't deal with it. Get a grip. Because she was like alone on her ship, nothing worked. A lot of the time when characters are on spaceships, it feels like they kind of have a magical button for everything. She had to like sort of tactically decide um, what what she was going to use. It was a look into the mind of Captain Marvel as her sort of um, military tactical ability, uh, which doesn't get explored much, which is exciting. Usually it's sort of like, punch that guy, pow! So yeah, that was fun. Then of course at the end, it's got a little look at what Tick and Chewie are doing. Uh, Tick's just held prisoner, Chewie's got a little Hannibal Lecter muzzle on. The Hannibal Lecter mask I thought was kind of adorable. I'm imagining Chewie like, you know, Hello, Clarice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> black and out of collector, like a little cat that eats other cats. It's kind of cute. I also like the art that they've got for the next time on Captain Marvel. Looks appropriately badass. I don't want anything bad to happen to Chewie because I love Chewie. When Chewie had kittens, I was like, you know, would love to adopt one of those kittens so much. So if any of the kittens are going up for adoption, um, Carol Danvers, then please send one my way. I promise to give it an amazing home. Fade out.